So one day I'm sitting at my computer and I hear a voice. Teach them how to add voiceovers in Google Slides. Okay. So that's what I'm going to teach you on this episode of Digital Media Pocket Night. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Steve Kwasinski, and on this episode, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can add voiceovers to your Google Slides presentation. With this three-step approach, you'll be adding voiceovers to your presentation in no time. If you're looking to build your skill set, hit the subscribe button below, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for new skill alerts. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing I'm going to do here is walk you through a presentation where I've actually set up some voiceovers myself. And then after the teaching, I'm going to show you how to practically do it. Uh, we're going to get a little bit creative here. So this is Google Slides, how to add voiceover. Quick start guide. The first thing you're going to need is a recording app. I would recommend using something like Audacity, which is free, or you can check the app stores on your Windows or Mac computer for free sound recorder. I'm not going to go over how to actually record your audio in this video. I'll put a link in the description and also in the project card up top. The second thing you're going to need is some audio recording equipment. Your computer probably has a internal microphone attached to it. If you don't have that on your computer, you will want to invest in an external microphone. I have a Blue Yeti. I like the sound quality of that one. It's what I'm working with right now. Or what you could also do is record the audio on your smartphone and then import that into your computer and then upload it to Google Drive. The third thing you're going to need, and this is important, is quiet space to record your audio. When you record audio, you want to make sure it's free from anything else besides the sound of your voice. The quiet space is going to help you get a nice sounding voice recording. It's going to help eliminate background noise that you don't have to then eliminate later. You could also get rid of a cat meow or a dog bark or someone knocking at the door. So make sure you record in a quiet space. This is a three-step process to get this accomplished. So first things first is you want to record the audio and save your files. Again, check the description for the link on how to record audio using Audacity. Step two is to then upload the files to Google Drive. Unfortunately, Google Slides doesn't let you import files directly from your computer, so you have to go through Google Drive first, and then you'll be able to insert them into your presentation. Step three is to actually go ahead and insert them into your slideshow. As a bonus tip, when you're saving your audio files that you're recording, make sure you use a naming convention that makes sense for you. The one I like to use the most is a sequential naming convention, so that goes along the lines of presentation name, hyphen, voiceover, hyphen, clip 001, clip 002, clip 003, etc., etc. This keeps things organized, and if I sort the files by name, it's easier to find the files this way once I get into Google Drive and inserting them into the presentation. You could also use a literal naming convention. So let's say you have an intro that you want to put in slide one. Name that file slide one intro. If you have a tip that you want to share at some point during your presentation, name that cool tip. If you have a conclusion slide and you want to have the voiceover narrate the end of the slide, name that conclusion. It's really whatever works for you. My preference is the sequential. It's easier for me to find clips. But again, use what works for you. Now, when we jump to the next slide, there's going to be a couple different things happening. This is where we're going to get into the creativity of this. You're going to hear two things when we hop over to the next slide. The first thing you're going to hear in the background is a beatboxing uh, sound file that I made that kind of is the soundtrack. And then the second one is a voiceover narration that automatically plays and lets you know what we're going to be learning on that next slide. So really, this next slide is going to be an example of what you can do for inserting voiceovers. And then the slide after that, we're going to get into the practical slash how to to actually accomplish this yourself. So without further ado, on this slide, I'm going to go over a few different examples for how you can set up your voiceover. This first example is set to autoplay. So as soon as the slide comes into focus, the audio is going to start playing. So that was the example over here, the auto setup with this little sound file here. Um, the other one that you again hear in the background is the looping audio, the beatboxing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause that one so that I can get to kind of the explanation of these three here. So the auto voiceover was set up so that as soon as the slide comes into focus, that voiceover clip automatically plays. I also have it set to if we were to change the slide, that voiceover clip would stop. What I did here with the loop audio clip is I, I had that also play automatically, but then if I were to play this and then go to a slide change, so let's play this, and then advance to the next slide, that clip would still continue to play. So I have that one set up a little bit differently than the first audio clip, and we'll get into that in just a second. Let me pop back here. Stop On this slide, auto. I'm going to go... Let me stop this. So now this third example I have, the on-click example, is audio that plays only when I click this little audio icon here. Click, or if I hover over and I click this play button, 
click, it's also going to do the same thing. So this one plays only when clicked, and then I also have it to stop on a slide change. So depending on how you want to set up your voiceover in Google Slides, there's a couple different ways or three different ways. There's probably more different ways, but these are three great examples of how you can use this in your presentations. So now let's actually get creative and start jumping into how to do this. When you want to insert an audio file into your presentation, you go up to the top menu here, click Insert Audio. Now I know from my naming conventions that the clip that I want to insert is this add voiceover hyphen voiceover hyphen two dot mp3. I'm going to click select, drag that over here, make sure that's the one on this slide. Yep, huh? yep. So now with that clip selected, I see these format options here on the right hand side. If you don't have those open, you can click this format options button here or go to format at top and then click format options and that'll bring up this window. So for the auto clip, I want this to play automatically when the slide comes into focus. I want to turn it down just slightly, so uh, volume when presenting, I'm going to turn that to about 50. Um, I want that to, I don't want that to loop, so I'm going to leave that uh, unchecked. Uh, I don't want the icon to hide when I'm presenting, I want it to be, uh, to be seen. Uh, and then I also want that to stop on a slide change, so if I change to the slide during the middle of that clip, it's going to stop the audio from playing. I always like to test my uh, presentations when I'm building them to make sure everything's working. So let's click on the present button up top. On this slide, I'm going to go over a few different examples for how you can set up your voiceover. This and first that plays example just is fine. And hit the escape key to go back to my editing mode. So this one set up automatically plays um, and would stop on a slide change. We can actually test that out too. On this slide, advance and it stops playing. Great. Click escape and go back. So now I want to set up the, um, the on click. Uh, audio. So I'm going to go to again insert audio. That one's going to be 003, I believe. Let me drag this over to where I want it. Let me click it. Click, click. Cool. So that one I want it to play on click. Um, I don't want it to loop. And if I were to change slides, then I would want it to stop. It's a very short clip, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go to present. On this slide, auto I'm plays. Gonna go I'm going to go hover over and pause. On click, let's see if it plays. Click, perfect. Great, I'm gonna hit the escape key. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna to go to insert audio again. I'm gonna click on voiceover four, insert, drag that over here. That's fine. Uh, I want this one to then uh, start playing automatically. So let's uh, click the automatic button. I wanna turn that down. I think when I recorded it, it was a little loud. So I'll go to about 14. Uh, I can also choose to hide this icon when presenting. Let me click that just to show you what that looks like. Um, I want this one to loop, so as soon as it's done, we see it's a four-second clip, but I want it to keep going over and over and over. And I want that to not stop on the slide change. So that one just continues to go and continues to play during the rest of the presentation. So let's click present, test this out. On this slide, I'm going to go okay. over a few different examples for how you can set up. I'm going to pause that auto. We hear the loop of the beatbox still going and you notice I don't see that audio icon anymore so this is kind of handy if you want to cover it up and you don't want to you know drag a shape over it with a uh, the same color background you can just leave that there and select um, don't show when when you're presenting click still works click let's just click that for fun great so if I were to change slides you see that that's that's it. I mean, that's that's as easy as it can get for adding voiceovers to your Google Slides presentation. Now that you've learned this, I want you to go out and actually use this stuff. Adding voiceovers is one way to add interactivity to your presentations, and as you just saw, it's very easy to do. If you're adding voiceovers to your presentation and you're stuck or you're having some trouble, let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to help. If you want more tips on Google Slides, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you get the new skill alerts sent directly to your phone, tablet, whatevs. That's it for this episode. I'm Steve Kwasinski, and I'll see you next time.